Okay guys, welcome back. Like I said in my previous video, I had a review of the Scorpion Evo A1, which is the HPA edition, or version. Build quality. Overall, it's a good sturdy polymer. It also has a foldable stock. As you can tell. Dextrous fire selector switch for left or right. The built in foregrip. Your battery compartment is right here behind the slide, along with, with your pop up. You have a threaded barrel with an orange tip. The Nibert suppressor will fit on this gun, but you must go get this adapter for it in order for it to screw on. The rest of the stock is also adjustable. I like that part of it. It does have the charging handle. And as you've seen before, the dust cover, well, I don't have dust cover, but it does open up so you can get in there to the hop up. Let's talk about some cons of this gun like I said overall very well built I do like this gun just some of the cons that probably would sway me away from it battery compartment takes the small battery very small batteries I use a Titan 7.5 but if you put it in too far you'll have a bear of a time to get it out Especially if you've got big fingers like I do. Pain. This piece right here, your slide. This piece right here was put on by Sniper Joe Customs because when you take the front off, if you're not careful, there's a spring in here that'll fly out. So he put this on the front of it to keep everything compact and where it needs to be. Because trust me, we have had to look for that spring on another. Scorpion and it is not very fun to look forward to Fire rate you can change the fire rate by pulling down the trigger and then putting your battery in It does have single Three round burst and full auto That being said stay tuned. Let's go do some chronoing Okay guys, I'm back. As you can see with the chrono test, shoots anywhere between 312 to 315 FPS at 1.43 joules. Definitely seek UV legal, but be sure to check with your local fields to make sure. Now, on to the magazines. But first, before I get into the magazines, this gun is set up the magazines the way they are made. They hold 75 rounds, but when it's empty, they stop. The gun stops shooting. If you're not ready for that, practice with it before you go into a gameplay, because then you'll get like a kid caught with your hand in the cookie jar trying to figure out why your gun's not shooting. In order for it to get to shoot again, you drop the mag with the mag release here. It's ambidextrous. Take the old mag out, put a new one in, hit the slide release, and you're ready to go. Let's take a look at the mags. Seventy-five round mid caps. Good sturdy build quality, but like I said, once they're empty, the gun stops firing. You get seventy-five rounds per magazine. Not bad, not good, but. 
if you want to get around that, you can buy a drum magazine for this gun. That has came in handy when I've used it in gameplay, which you'll see later on. So with that being said, would I buy this gun for myself? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I mean, I have the MP7. I'm kind of fond of that model. It's just me. But, like I said, guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Stay tuned for some fire rate testing. You'll hear in semi, full auto. Everybody knows what three round burst sounds like. But I know people want to see or hear what it sounds like when it's shooting. Like I said, it is a HPA gun, so you will need a tank, hose, and regulator if you decide to purchase this gun. And as always, I'd like to thank Sniper Joe Customs for providing me with this gun to do the review on and to have some chances on some gameplay. And I thank y'all for your all continued support. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications by hitting that bell. Stay tuned for the fire rate tests. Until next time, I will see you on the field.